how about a really super easy to make, only two ingredient parrot cookie. It's healthy for your parrots. Um, Kailani liked it. Uh -huh. um, hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. I have over 20 species of parrots. I love my parrots. My parrots are my bliss. And I love helping you have a blissful bond with your parrot so that you don't want to rehome or surrender your parrot. If you want to get blissed out, you're in the right place. And if you want to learn how to make a great parrot cookie, if you know that this is Ale, my white crowned pionis, and you know that he doesn't like when I talk with my hands, he starts to get mad, <laughs> then you're used to hanging out. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for having subscribed if you've already subscribed. And thank you for being here. Let's make parrot cookies. Okay, so this is so awesome because it's super easy, it's super quick, and you only need two super ingredients, an egg and almond butter. Literally, we're just gonna preheat the oven to 350. I'm gonna put my almond butter in my bowl, crack my egg, and mix. I know, so hard, right? That's it. Um, I'm gonna show you in a second the bowl if the almond butter finishes coming out and we're going to mix it now the first time i made this i made it with peanut butter it worked just fine i think i had people telling me they wanted some and i was like oh you can have some but <laughs> there's no sweetness in it it was really funny because then my friend's like oh never mind but um, you know, the thing about peanut butter is technically it's a legume. And that means that um, if you want to give a cookie to your non-nut eaters, in other words, like if you have an Indian ring neck or if you have a green cheek conure, then you might want to use peanut butter because you're giving them some protein since it's more of a nut, I mean, a, a bean instead of a nut. Um, you know, kind of check that out, research it, or see what you think is best. There are different butters you can use. I would guess that this would work with other butters as well, but it's just so easy. I think part of what takes the longest is just getting <clears throat> the almond butter out of the bowl. So I'm just going to mix it. Ali's helping me, of course, and you can see it's just kind of um, a sloppy mess so far. I want to make sure you guys can see super easy. I'm going to give it a little elbow grease. Next, I am going to start to roll it into little balls. I think it's supposed to make like a dozen. I made nine, like nine spoonful size balls kind of thing. Okay, and I want you to just see the batter when I think it's done. I think it's done. There's the batter. It looks like cookie batter, doesn't it? All right, so now let's start to spoon it onto the tray. All right, guys, so here are my cookies. You could see if I can get the camera to behave for me. There we go. Oh, the little balls. Let's try raising it. There's little balls. And I took the little balls to make it fancy. I just did your typical cookie smush like that and like that and now you could bake it in your oven for oh 10 to 12 minutes you know how it goes it sort of depends on how warm your oven is and that kind of thing uh we're gonna try the air fryer so that's kind of exciting right Ale? so i'm gonna put them in and then i will show you when they come out okay so these just came out and the one thing about the air fryer is it only does four at a time um, they are crumbly, and I think that's kind of the way it is. When they sit, they get uncrumbly better. But is that cooked? I think that's cooked. I think that's ready. So Ale and I mm, are going to taste it. Not too bad. There you go. Easy. Pretty good. 
There you go. Henry, you want a little birdie cookie? Cookie? I'm not the cookie. Salam, the cookie's right 